All right, guys, we have another question from the second chapter of the Merriam textbook, Engineering Mechanics. And in this one, we need to de determine the angle theta, which will maximize the moment MO about the shaft axis at O. And we have the force 50 pounds. And as always, counterclockwise moment is positive and clockwise moment is negative. So if we get back to the definition of the moment, we have the cross product of R and F position vector and the force, which would be basically R times F times sine of alpha. And we're going to get the maximum for the moment when we have the value of sine of alpha equal to one. We know the sine of an angle can be maximum one. And that's going to happen when we have our alpha 90 degrees which means our r has to be perpendicular to f so all we need to do in here is just to draw our position vector from o to this point that we have in here we can call it a and this has to be perpendicular to the force and we can go from there so we have this triangle that i'm highlighting in yellow in here where we have this angle here 90 degrees plus 30 which is 120 and let's call this angle here maybe alpha and if we do law of sines and law of cosines we can find oa and after that we can do the law of sines to find the alpha so if we want to find OA, we know OA squared is equal to 10 squared plus 7 squared minus 2 times 7 times 10 times cosine of the angle between those two, which is 120 degrees, and that should give us OA. And again, this is based on the law of cosines. So our OA would be the square root of what we have in the previous step, square root of 10 squared plus 7 squared minus 2 times 7 times 10 times cosine of 120. That's going to give us 14.8 inches. So now we're going to do the law of sines. And for law of sines, we're going to have OA over sine of the angle in front of it, which is 120 is equal to this side 7 inches over sine of alpha and here alpha would be sine inverse of 7 sine of 120 divided by OA from the previous step we got it 14.8 let's see what we get so sine inverse of 7 sine of 120 divided by 14.8 that's going to be 24.18. So now it's pretty easy. We have this line in here where we found this angle alpha. This one's 90 degrees and this is theta. So we can find theta pretty easy. Theta would be 180 minus 90 minus our alpha 24.18. Let's see what we get. So it will be 90 minus 24.18, which is going to be 65.82 degrees. That was the, so this was the first part of the question where we needed to determine the angle theta. And the last part of the question, we need to compute the moment as well. And now it's pretty easy that we have both F and R Finding the moment about O counterclock was positive as always. And if you look at the moment, we'll see that the moment about O is in this direction. So it will be a negative moment since it's clockwise. And the force is 50 pounds. And our R was 14.8. And this is going to give our moment based on pound inch. And it will be clockwise since it's negative so let's see what we get 50 times 14.8 that's going to be minus 740 and the final answer for this question I hope everything was clear let me know if you guys have any questions and you guys take care i'll see you in the next video have a good one